Hello and welcome back to Sherwood Park Toyota. So we're looking at a Toyota Tacoma Limited Hybrid in the color red. Let's take a look. Starting up front here underneath the hood, we have the gas component of the hybrid energy system. It is a turbocharged iForce Max 2.4 liter four cylinder engine, automatic transmission, gets up to 326 horsepower, 465 pound foot of torque, towing capacity up to 5,950 pounds. Up front, you've got LED headlights, custom ID running lights, fog lights down below. Across the front bumper, you'll find these little round nodules. These guys are your front parking sensor. And then underneath your front logo is your front facing camera. Both your headlamps, you'll also have that Tacoma logo one on either side. Underneath that, you've got your 18 inch alloy wheels, power adjustable factory running boards, limited trim level badge on your doors. Side mirrors have integrated turn signals, blind spot monitors, and additional cameras underneath. And if you look forward here, you'll also find your iForce Max badge on either side of your hood. As you move back on both of your front handles, you'll find these two double lines. We'll talk about those guys more on the driver's side. Moving back, all of your rear windows come with factory tinting. In the back here, you do have headlamps. You can choose to turn on, off, or have work automatically with opening and closing of your doors. You also will notice that the middle panel of your rear windshield is inset a bit. That is power adjustable, and we'll take a closer look at that when we get up front. Across the back of this particular unit, we do have installed a hard tonneau cover. And then if you look across your rear bumper, just like in the front, you have backup parking sensors the whole way along. Underneath, you have your hitch receiver, your spare mounted on the bottom. Tacoma logo the whole way across the back here, and then you have your iForce Max badge on the right-hand side. On your handle, you have your backup camera. To open up your trunk space here, or your bed space rather, you can reach in under the handle and press the button. You can press the button on your key fob, or if you go over to either of your rear tail lamps, you'll find a little button on the side. Give that guy a press and he will automatically open up for you. You can take a look on the inside. Got the Tacoma logo all the way across the back here. You do have the interior lights even though we do have them turned off right now. And then you'll also find on the left this extra little capacity compartment here. It's got some cool little features in there. We do have a video covering what you can find and how to use them. Other than that, inside here you do have the D-ring tie-down hooks, bed rails, and then on the right-hand side, you have a storage space as well as a power outlet. To close it up in the back here, you can reach down and bring up your tailgate. You can, again, press the button on your key fob, or again, just press the button next to either one of your rear taillights. Next, let's take a look at the inside. So inside here, your interior upholstery is the black leatherette with black stitching. From the side, it appears solid, but if you look at it head-on, you'll find this geometric print that emerges. This is only available with certain trim levels. Looking upwards, next to your middle headrest and your rear passenger headrest, you'll find these little straps. Give this guy a tug, and you can access all of the storage space you have in behind your seats. You'll even find your toolkit there for your spare. That JBL speaker in the back here. Of course, that means we have the full JBL speaker sound system throughout this unit. Looking forward, on the back of your front passenger seat, you do have pouch storage. Back of the console, you have your cup holders and chargers down below. And we currently have the Tacoma rubber mats installed, though all new units come with both rubber and carpeted mats. Storage space inside your door there, as well as your power window control. Back again now to this little dimple. This guy indicates keyless entry, so if you have the key fob on your person, you can tap your hand in here to lock and unlock the unit. Inside the door here, power windows for front and back. You've got your window lock, power lock system, side mirror controls, plenty of storage space. We're also getting a good look at this beautiful wood grain trim. You can find bits of this all throughout your front cab space. Of course, up front, we do have power adjustable seating, back front up down lumbar support, hood release latch on the bottom left hand corner of your dash. On top of that, controls for your rear cargo lights. This is the control for these power adjustable running boards. So as you can see, we currently have them set to out. You can have them set to in, or you can set it to auto, which is what we'll do right now. That way, when we close the door again at the end of the video, you'll be able to keep an eye on these guys and they will fold away. So they'll fold and unfold with the opening and closing of the door. On top of that, we have your automatic headlamps, traction control, AC 120 volt control. This is for that power liftgate release as well as the raising. Then you have your gas compartment, your dash brightness, and your headlamp leveling. Hop up here and take a closer look at your steering wheel. First off, black leather, black stitching. Then left-hand side, controls here for your dash display. Then of course, you've got hands-free communication and volume control. Right-hand side, radio controls on the bottom, adaptive cruise control up top, which includes sonar and lane departure. 
on top of your dash, you'll find this little cutout. And then if you look right here at the edge of the red, you'll find a couple metrics being displayed there. Currently, you can see that where it parked, we have zero kilometers. And you do also have your sonar sensing for the adaptive cruise up there. This is your heads up display. This guide lets you keep an eye on some of your pertinent information without having to take your eyes on and off the road to do so. To the right of that, you'll find this little cavity. This is where you will usually find your portable JBL speaker. As you can see, we have it popped out. You do that by just pressing that little arrow button. We do it just for safekeeping, so we have things inside of our showroom here, but usually you can find it there. When it is in that place, it will work together with the rest of the sound system, but as you can tell, you can easily be removed and you can take it wherever you want to go. It's even able to sync up with other JBL speakers. So if you and your buddy both have Tacomas with portable speakers, you can pop them out, take them to the tailgate and have a little tailgate party all synced up without having to have the whole vehicle on. Underneath that, you have your infotainment display screen. This is where you go to access much of the information about your daily driving experience. This is something you can connect through Toyota Connected Services. Under that, you have your audio listening, AM, FM, satellite radio, full Bluetooth connectivity includes Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, and there's optional USB adapters all throughout the unit. Under that, you have your phone connectivity, then you have your trip information, and then you have your general settings, everything from personal profile, Bluetooth display, voice dealer, info, security, apps, etc. Left of this is your push start ignition, then to the left of that, you have your trailer brake controls, in the middle is your volume, and then everything else down here is all cruise, or not cruise control, rather, your climate control. From the left-hand side, you have your heated steering wheel control. Then we have three variant levels for both heated and cooled seats. we got the red for the heat and the blue for the cool. And then up front, we have the dual AC. So right now, we have the sink on, which means both sides will work together in unison. But if you turn off the sink, you can now have each side work independently from each other. Defrost for your front and rear windshield here, as well as side mirrors. You got your four ways to the right hand side underneath. You got all sorts of storage space all throughout here. Starting up front, you do have this wireless charging pad. Got little bumpers on the sides and the bottom, ensuring it's not going to go flying away out of anywhere when you actually hit the road. Still have a clear line of view to it for any notifications coming in and out. Never have to worry about having charging cords on you at any point in time. And of course, there is still plenty of additional storage space all around it, so it's not taking up any of that retail space. Right of that is where you have your other charger options. Storage capacity goes downwards. You have a hook on the right hand side, which is particularly handy if you have any bags, such as a purse to hang off of it. So it's not just flopping around on the floor down by your feet. Then you've got your gear shift, parking brakes, two wheel, four high and four low controls. You have your towing versus driving modes. Then of course you also have your trailer brake controls and surround view cameras. So if you give that guy a press, you'll find that your infotainment turns to this full surround view look around you. You can also change the perspective from which you're looking at any point in time. And if you wanted to pause and take a closer look, you can just press that button and feel free to do so. Further customization is available on the bottom right hand corner. To get rid of the screen, you can press the X on the top corner, or if you go back down, you can press it one more time and it will go back to its normal infotainment state. Behind that, cup holder spaces, and then you have your console. Opens up, lots of space step down inside there. Right hand side, lockable glove box down below. Again, we have the black leatherette with the lighter stitching beautiful wood grain trim, Tacoma logo to the right hand side, storage compartment up top. On your rear view mirror, one, two, and three dots. These guys are your garage door openers. And then as you can see, we have a normal reflective mirror right here. But if you flip the switch here, it will instead turn to a camera view behind you. Really cool little built-in feature to have in case you have anything or anyone inside your cab space, maybe being distracted, blocking your view a little bit, making it hard to see behind. You can just circumnavigate that problem by flipping the switch and then you use the cameras in the back to look instead. On top of that, you have your sunglasses compartment, SOS button, overhead lighting controls. You've got the controls for your moonroof there. And then on the left, this is how you adjust that middle panel of the rear windshield. So you can take a look at that guy in action. Press the button in to have that guy roll over. Pull the button up to have him roll back closed. You can stop it at any point along the way to suit your personal preference. Great little built-in feature to let you have a little extra airflow inside your cab space. Thanks again, folks, for joining us on this full video tour for this Toyota Tacoma Limited Hybrid in the color red. It is located here at Sherwood Park Toyota at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta. You can also reach us at 780-306-7703. And remember, life is full of choices. Let us be yours.